Hello everybody, Emoji Movie Channel here, and I'm here today to review another movie. Today I'll be looking at an unnecessary sequel nobody liked or asked for, but everyone wants me to review, The Addams Family 2. What? Well, wow, that rhymes. This is going to be a very special review. Sure, we've had a lot of bad and unnecessary sequels in the past couple of years, but I reviewed the first Addams Family when it came out. I haven't watched those old reviews since I made them, but I, I don't remember me liking it. I'm too lazy to rewatch the actual movie to see if it holds up, so I'm just gonna rewatch the trailer. Totally awesome. Yeah, no, still suck. But unfortunately, they made a sequel to this movie for three reasons. One, to make money. Two, to spite me. And three, to make more money. I mean, the sequel was literally announced three days after the first movie came out. You, you can't tell me this wasn't because of money. So less than two years later, we already have a sequel to a movie nobody liked or remembered. But how was this movie, you may ask? Well, I mean, it wasn't horrible. I mean, it's not good, but I don't think it deserves the same letterbox rating as Dear Evan Hansen. By the way, Dear Evan Hansen is unbelievably bad on my 2021 ranking, expected to be at like number 48 or something. But yeah, The Addams Family 2 wasn't nearly as bad as the first one, or as bad as I was expecting. Kind of similar to The Boss Baby 2 and Peter Rabbit 2, but it still has a ton of problems like, I don't know, the plot. It's like the exact same thing as Mitchell's vs. the Machine. <laughs> What makes you say that? The father is like, oh no, my child is growing up, we better go on a road trip. And the daughter is like, oh no, I, I don't like road trips, blah, and then shenanigans happen. Maybe I wouldn't mind this too much if it wasn't done six months earlier, and maybe I wouldn't mind that too much if it wasn't done infinitely better. I mean, Mitchell's vs. the Machines had like a structure. It feels like they had a bunch of Adam's Family shorts that they just stitched together and they're like, Oh, let's go here now, and oh, let's go there now. It's pretty random and gets less coherent as the movie goes on. Plus, the movie doesn't have, um, interesting characters. I think the writers tried to substitute this by just throwing random stuff in. Alright, so the script for The Addams Family 2 is finished, but there's one problem. It's extremely boring. What do we do? Well, uh, how about we have this subplot about this guy who thinks Wednesday is adopted? Okay, good. What else? We can have the uncle turn into a squid. Well, uh, I mean, sure, but, uh... And then we can have this evil scientist guy who pretends he's Wednesday's father, and then he makes a giant chicken hybrid, and then the squid comes and beats him. What the fu- Yeah, this movie gets pretty crazy at points, but I wouldn't say it handled its craziness aspect as well as Boss Baby 2 did. There aren't many funny reactions to things, and people are just sort of along for the ride, and... And it's pretty uninteresting at points. Missing that special Varric factor, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's just a bunch of little Adam's Family skits, and they just move on to the next one once one is finished. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, there's a subplot about Pugsley being a simp. Hey, just like that guy from the Mitchells versus the Machine. It's just there, it adds nothing to the movie. Also, the thing with Wednesday makes, like, absolutely no sense, and it causes the movie to have, like, 17 different plot holes, but I don't even want to get into that. Nobody in this movie really has an arc. It's just, like... Oh, I thought I was right, but I was wrong. Mwah. Then there's the villain of the movie, who looks like Chester V combined with Megamind. I can't remember his name, so I'm just gonna call him Chester Mind. I mean, Vil Hader gives a really good voice performance, but other than that, I he's weird. He's a scientist, and he wants to use monster-animal-chicken hybrids to take over the world or something, and he needs Wednesday to do that for some reason, so he does a fake DNA test, and he pretends to be an Adams and a chicken, ch what? At least this all leads to a pretty epic climax, something Boss Baby 2 didn't have. But you're probably wondering. But you're probably wondering what they did to the worst thing about the first movie. The animation. Well, for starters, the Karen mom villain and the squash face girl aren't in or even mentioned in this movie, so that automatically makes it better. And while the other humans don't necessarily look good, they don't look awful. The climax is visually interesting and I like the villain's design. And I think this movie had less gross out and toilet jokes than the first one, so that's a good thing. Although, oh boy, they sure didn't forget about those modern references. Gotta be hip, am I right? We gotta mention all these super cool celebrities and pop stars. Oh yeah! But on the subject of music, the soundtrack of this movie is actually pretty good. I mean, the songs aren't the best and they don't really fit with the scenes, but they're catchy at least. Plus, there's one scene where a certain character breaks out into song and it's honestly incredible. 
I would normally spoil a movie like this that nobody cares about, but I think this scene is worth watching. At least scenes like that kind of handled the craziness factor well and made it funny, but I can't say the same about the rest of the movie. Overall, The Addams Family 2 is not horrible, but it's not really that good. Don't get me wrong, I take this over the first movie any day. I mean, at least it was kind of fun at points and didn't have horrid looking animation. It did have entertaining moments, a good soundtrack, and an amazing climax, but nothing other than that really stands out. This sequel is just kind of there, and it was clearly made for money, but there's nothing horrible about it. What did I give the first film a 3.5 out of 10? Well, congratulations, you've improved. I'm gonna give The Addams Family 2 a 4.5 out of 10. Now that this movie's out of the way, we can finally get to the epic conclusion of the trilogy, the movie everyone wants me to review, the most anticipated movie review of all time, Open Season 3 coming to theaters this October. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed, comment down below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.